guys and welcome to a slightly different video today. So today is a small pet video and I'm going to be giving my rabbit Tallulah a hutch makeover. So for those of you that don't know, we, she doesn't live on the farm, she lives at home with me. So today I'm going to be painting and renovating her hutch to match the garden and to give it a bit of a spruce up for summertime. So this is the current state of the hutch, so the outside has been painted but the inside is looking very much used and old, I've had this hutch for many years now and Tallulah is also doing a clean out, so that's the first thing I'm going to do is just remove everything out of here, so all the hay, everything like that, just brush it all out and remove all of the items so that we've got a nice clean base but as you can see the walls are all really needing painting there's lots of dirt on there and the flooring stained even though I do clean it regularly um, obviously over time it just builds up with all the dirt and the stains so it's nothing a good paint job can't fix so that's what I'm going to go in and do now so this is the paint that I'm using and it is Johnstone's wood care garden colours in the colour steel smoke and I've used this on the outside of the hutch it gives like a really nice plasticky finish almost and um, so it'll be really good for getting the inside of the hutch looking much better so I did first sweep out the hutch to try and you know remove any debris but some of it was sort of like ingrained on so I'm just gonna have to try and paint over that So I only filmed the first coat but I did actually put about two to three coats on the inside of the hutch and just let that dry. So while that's drying I'll show you the items that I've bought for the inside of the hutch. Okay so now that the hutch is all painted and we're waiting for that to dry I thought I'd show you some of the other bits and bobs that I have bought and um, to go in there. So a lot of them are from B&M because we all know I love it. So we'll start with B&M items. I bought two um, grey rugs. This is a doormat. Um, I don't know if you can see that okay. So basically it's a grey rainbow doormat just so I can add a little bit of colour in there because I don't want it to be too boring and just grey and white. Um, it's an anti-slip one so it's good if I put it on the sh either level really just so it doesn't slip. And this was only £3, I thought, you know, a bit of a bargain. So I got that for her because she does like to sit on mats. And I also got another mat. Now this, oh, so this one isn't a doormat, it's actually a bath mat. Um, but I really like the print on it and it's like really soft. So I know Tula absolutely loves sitting on mats and anything fluffy, um, but she does wee on them. <laughs> So that's why I have to have things like this that I can pop in the washing machine. Bath mats are easier to clean than doormats. Um, so something like this will be ideal for her downstairs section. And this was only £4 but it is quite big so I hope it fits in okay. But again I really like the colours and the design on this. It's super soft um, so she'll really enjoy sitting on that. Mats are also really good for... Oh, I've got one. So mats are also really good for in winter, just adding a little bit of warmth and comfort to the hutch. So the next thing is the only thing I bought from Pets at Home. Um, I went in there expecting to like come out with loads of stuff and I literally couldn't find anything I, I like. So Tallulah doesn't like toys, she doesn't play with toys, um, especially if they're like hung up, she just doesn't bother with them. So instead of like wasting my money as I have done over the years trying to buy various toys, the only things I really buy her are edible things and tunnels or cardboard boxes. She loves a cardboard box. So I bought this large grass house. Now I'm assuming it's for like a baby guinea pig to fit in if it's meant to be for a house because um, Tallulah's definitely not fitting in here. 
but I bought it to stuff um, it full of hay and to pop in the hutch because she will nibble on this and knock it about and even just pop it in the garden actually um, so she can knock it about a bit but yeah so I think this was like six pounds which a bit expensive for a bit of hay wrapped round itself but hey ho she'll enjoy it I'm sure so that was from Pets at Home And then I think everything else is from Home Bargains. No, this wasn't. This was from Pet Hut. So one of the like bargain shops has a thing called Pet Hut. I can't remember which one it was. And I think I got these two from there. Um, it might be Pound Stretcher, something like that anyway. So I did get this, which I've just said she doesn't like hanging toys and I'm showing you a hanging toy. Um, so this isn't actually the hanging toy that I bought it to be. Uh, so I got this and it's a Woody's Fruity Spinners. They're what I always called kebabs when I had my guinea pigs. But basically I'm taking the wood parts off and I'm going to put vegetables on there. So she will eat vegetables from her hanging bowl. So I thought this would be a little bit different um, due to it being kebab form. Uh, so she has a hanging bowl for like her salad -y type things, but this would be good for popping like little bits of carrot or any sort of hard veggies veggies on. But the two the like wooden things that are on here, I'm going to take those off and probably just pop them in the bottom of the hutch. She might not touch them, in fact she probably won't. But um, yeah, it came with those anyway. And I think that was like two pounds. It wasn't expensive. So from the same shop, I bought this. Now this is a overdoor storage basket, um, but I'm going to be trying to use it as a hay rack. I have tried multiple hay racks with Tallulah. She doesn't really eat out of them, but I'm not giving up. <laughs> so this is, again, it's a really nice little hay rack. The bars aren't wide enough to cause any issues of her getting stuck. Um, they're not like skinny enough to cause any issues, so it's actually a really good size and I thought for £3 I might as well try it. Obviously the cardboard comes off. I like so. So the cardboard comes off and that is what's going to go over the top of her hutch door. You'll see when I put it on anyway and how it works. And then I'm just going to stick some hay in there, probably with some... Um, what do you call them? Probably like some of her pellets as well, just to encourage her to eat it. Um, and we'll see if she actually uses this one, because I've bought her many hay racks in the past and she never does. And so the final thing I bought her, which is actually probably the best bargain I've had um, out of everything, because I don't like to spend like a huge amount on things, because with rabbits they either, well they're either in the wash constantly, um, because like she is, trained to go in the litter tray but she doesn't always and yeah she just kind of wrecks things if she likes them or she just doesn't touch them at all if she doesn't so i don't like to spend huge amounts because i'll be changing it out um pretty soon anyway but this was i think like two pounds or two pound 99 um and it's a pop-up cat tunnel now again i've got it because it's great but Tallulah loves tunnels and even though this is quite big let me show you it um, I thought for like two pounds, you can't go wrong. Like I bought her a snuggle safe tunnel um, and they're like 10 pounds. And she'll probably use this one more. But even though it's a cat one, oh, it's actually huge. Oh my, I was not expecting it to be this big at all. And it has like little holes in it. I love this. She's gonna absolutely love this. Um, it might, due to the size of it, have to go on my grass. Which is fine because it's waterproof, but I was not <laughs> expecting it to be this size. Um, the only thing I'm going to modify is it has it has one of these on it, um, which obviously a cat would play with, but Tallulah won't. So I'll just chop that off um, in a minute. I'll just get some scissors and chop it off. But yeah, what an absolute bargain. Did not expect it to be this big at all. It is a lot bigger than my snuggle safe that I've paid £10 for. So that is everything that I've bought for the hutch. As soon as the hutch is dry, 
I'll video putting everything in and showing you the final hutch now that it's all done. So just to demonstrate the size of this tunnel in comparison to the snuggle safe, so obviously the larger grey tunnel was only like £3 and the snuggle safe was £10, so over three times the price, um, which is crazy because they're both probably going to last just as long. She's not a chewer so it doesn't really matter that one's made out of plastic and one's more of a material. And I thought I could even do this and kind of like add them together um, until they will no doubt just run through both. Um, as you can see, she's demonstrating that here. But yeah, two um, items that I'd really recommend are tunnels. Personally, it depends on your rabbit whether you go for the snuggle safe or for a cheap sort of cat version like that. Some don't like the texture or the noise, um, but personally, Tallulah doesn't care. So the hutch is now all dry and this is what it looks like. It is such a difference. Tallulah has been in here so mind the couple of poos that are stuck on the floor because when it was after it dried I opened the doors up so she was in here um, late on last night. Which is the reason there's a few marks on there already but look how much better that looks in comparison to what we started with. So now it's time to set up the hutch properly for Tallulah to move into. So I'm going to start by putting some shavings down for her. Now normally I just steal some of the horse's shavings and pop those in but I bought these from B&M. Um, I only put shavings in this one section of bed for her. Um, mainly because it's summer and she likes to lay on the cool wood. And also because she's litter trained so she either goes in a litter tray and she doesn't really use the top anyway but I do like just to have this up here for her. So once I've got enough shavings in the bed section I'm now going to add her hay net. So this is my new makeshift hay net that I showed you guys and I'm just going to be adding some of the hay again. I just use normal like horse hay. I've, it's so much cheaper to buy it by the bale rather than buying like the bags in supermarkets because you can buy a three pound bag in like a supermarket or in like a pet shop and you could buy an entire bale for that if you just pop to your farmer so that's what I do and I just bring it home in bags like so and the hay rack actually works really well as you can see it just locks over the door and that is absolutely perfect so for the other side like open side I call it of the top section I'm going to be adding the mat in so this is the door mat that was three pounds from B&M so it did overlap slightly so I've just pulled it up so when I close the door there will be a little bit of a lip but it just means that she can sit on there and because it's non-slip um, it will stick to the top so there's no worries about it um, falling down the ramp or anything. And this is what the top section looks like so that's already looking so much better for Tallulah and much more homely. Okay so moving downstairs the first thing I'm going to do is install our big bath mat. Now because this is cushioned I'm going to put this down here because one it will absorb more water if she knocks her water over or anything like that and two this is where she mainly sits in the hutch so it will be nice for her. I really really like the detailing on this mat and the grey matches perfectly so I was super happy about that. It just makes the hutch look a lot more modern. And I've cleaned her bowls out so I'm just going to pop those in so that's her water bowl and then that is her food bowl which I will fill up shortly. So Tallulah was just hopping around the garden but she heard me like rattling the bowls and getting the food out and um, so as soon as I put the food in she came running over to come and have a little look and to have a preview of her new hutch. So I've also filled her little nest hay thing um, with some more hay, so again just with some farm hay and popped that in there for her as well. She'll get to that when she's finished with her pellets. It might be a good idea actually for me to put some pellets in there just to encourage her to eat the hay as well, um, but I know she'll really enjoy destroying that. So moving to the other side of the hutch, now all that we've got left to pop in is her cleaned out litter tray. So she has the same litter tray and I just put a very thin layer of the shavings on the bottom and then again just top up with lots of the hay from the horses um, and then Tallulah generally sits in here and just eats her hay. 
So the only other things that I need to add now are her veggies and those other little bits of toys that we bought recently. So this is the veggie ball she's previously had and I've popped some lettuce, some carrots and a bit of broccoli in there for her. I think I got this from Pets at Home, it was like £3 or something like that. You can buy them in other places or online. Um, but Tallulah really likes her veggie ball, it's a bit more interactive than me just popping it in a dish for her. So I would definitely recommend those and they attach really nicely onto the side of the cage. And then downstairs I'm adding her kebab, so she's got the exact same carrot but this time with some pepper and some lettuce on there for her. I mainly feed her herbs anyway but the kebab is just going to be used for when I do have some like hard vegetables that I can use that with. So there we go, that was everything in place. And I know Tilly is really going to love this because she loves her veggie bowl. So I wanted just to give her something a little bit different um, to incorporate her vegetables. So here we go, here is the final finished hutch. It looks so much better, so much cleaner than it did before. So downstairs we have everything nice and matching. So I've kind of got a pink, white and grey theme going on in here. So down here she's got her bowls, her mat, her new toy and there she is. And then moving to the back, she's got plenty of floor space for hopping and stretching out, leading to her litter tray. And then again up here, I keep the space quite minimal because even though Tallulah always has run of the full garden, if we ever do have to pop her in the hutch, so if the dog's out or anything like that, then she has plenty of room in that hutch that even though she's never restricted to it for a long period of time, I just like to know that she can stretch out and um, do everything that she needs to do in there. So that's why I don't clutter it and that's why I put things like the tunnels, etc. onto the grass. And there we go, so that's the hutch done and just to, so you know the sort of area she has, this is our enclosed garden so she has all of this grass as well that she can run around and enjoy. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed having a little bit of a different video. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you all soon.